and they called, they called a doctor in North Hall, 20 miles or so away. And that doctor came the next day, and he realized how bad that was, and he got an ambulance and took my dad to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where there just happened to be, now, <laughs> there just happened to be a heart surgeon. My dad was a veteran, and so there was a veteran surgeon in the veteran VA system in Minneapolis, 200 miles. My dad survived a 200 mile trip to Minneapolis. And this is the first doctor, as far as I know, in the United States that could do open heart surgery. And they operated on him. And he, he was 35 years old and he lived 35 more years. Wow. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. In the world, in, in our health, in the natural, we want cures, don't we? We so need. We so need help with our issues, right? With whatever issues we have. Amen? We need somebody that can help us. Amen? And that's the time we solve one problem, we get another. Not the time we get over one sickness. I had heart disease before I got cancer. I suffered and I suffered because somebody gave an overdose of thyroid to me. A thousand times the dosage. And I took it for 10 solid days. I needed help. I needed a cure, didn't I? And here I am, no heart disease and no cancer. Amen. 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 As important as it is to have help in all these other areas, God, we got to have help in our soul. Amen. Come on. We have a soul that will live forever. The bodies are going to die anyway. Come on. We need help with our spirit, man. Our soul, right? We gotta stay alive if we're alive spiritually. Amen. If we're dead spiritually, we gotta get a cure. Amen. And there is a cure. There is a cure. Praise God. We don't have to cut our leg off. We don't have to cut our hand off. We don't have to gouge out our eye. Amen. Jesus was just letting us know that we gotta take it so seriously. It's got to be destroyed or it will destroy us. How many know in your own life how far sin has taken you? How much destruction already happened by sin? His Christopher Watts, he has an affair with a co-worker at his job. And he wanted that relationship so bad he killed his wife and his only son. In the womb, it is two little girls, three, and four. Sin will take you so far. It will grind your life. Absolutely. And when God says sin is dead, serious, you should take it serious. Amen. But there is a cure. Praise God, there is a cure. Chapter 
chapter 1 of Matthew, verse 20. The, the angel said to Joseph that Mary will give birth to a son. And you ought to give him the name Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sin. His very name yes. means the Lord saves. When you say the word Jesus, the word means the Lord saves. Amen. Praise God. Amen. When we read here that he's given the name Jesus, because he will cure. He will cure us of sin. Praise God. Praise God. He will save us from sin. He will cure the disease of sin. We. I wish I had a shout in church. I wish. I wish. I wish I had a shout. Until she 
gave birth to a son. He, he gave up that name. He had to have that name. And it came through Joseph, who was not actually his father, but was his legal father. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise God can do anything. Praise God. God can make a man who's not his father be his father. Amen. Praise God. The whole nation of Israel was in terrible sexual sin. Evil. Here was a godly couple that God could work through. Amen. Amen. And after Jesus was born, look at this. During the time of King Herod, Magi or, or wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one? Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? Where is this one? Where is this one? Where is the hope? Where is the cure that was from Iraq? Where is the hope? Because they saw a star, they wanted to be astrologers. And they said, where is this one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east. And have come to worship him. Praise God. They saw who he was just by a star that they understood would represent a king that would come not just for the Jews but for all people. He's the cure for the whole earth. He's not just the cure for a few, he's the cure for all people all over the face of the earth. Praise God. And if people do what we do, I went for my walk last night. 
and Jeannie, a lady that comes to the Bible school. I'm saying, now, God, when I go out, you bring the people to me. Amen. You put me on the exact street you want me on when you want me there. Amen. And so I felt you telling me, go here and go this way. And as I come up, I come up and I see, I find Robert, Jeannie's husband. And I said, Robert, it's so good to see you again. He dropped out of church years ago. He's gone back to all of his sin. 